Okay guys, just a quick one. Just wanted to show you some that we've just had a really, really good restock of AK paints, accessories, books, which I just showed you before, showed you earlier on. Um, so we've had a lot of restock. There's lots, there's more books back in, things like that. AK weathering sets, detail sets, paint sets, they're back in. Uh, the pigments, metallics, thinners, the AK thinner, the, the primers from them, which are really, really good. The acryl thinner for the Series 3 paint, restocks of the, of the pencils. Uh, what else have we had in? Uh, Andy Slip, something or other. So there's been a lot of that. So the, and also a lot of the sets have come back in. So uh, some of the decals, some of the, um, some of this sort of, th the Panzer colors for figures. Uh, what else we got? Ship colors, naval colors, US Navy camouflage colors, all with their paint ranges, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else we had? Soviet aircraft, uh, Luftwaffe camouflage. What else we got here? Oh, spatula set. This is really cool. Spatula set from uh, AK. That's quite good. We've also got metal painting clips. So they're on the long, the long arms, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Recovery, all that sort of things. Uh, we've also had restocks of the weathering sets. There are some gaps still, which will be filled probably in the next week or two weeks or three weeks. Uh, so we've had quite a lot of it come back in. The diorama paints, the colours, a bit of the real colours being restocked, but there's more of that to come. Uh, AK colours, they've just come back in. So that's pretty cool. This is the third gen stuff. This stuff I really like, so that's going really, really well. Uh, some of the metal colours, the true metal, things like that, they've all just come back in. What I'm going to do now is take you for a walk through the shop so that you can see what else is on the shelf. So come for a walk. Uh, just a quick one here. I think I spoke to you earlier on about um, some of the other uh, fine moulds kits that have come in. That's the Japanese one. So 8th uh, Tactical. So that's quite good. That's the... Uh, Japanese one for the 109E7, and this is one of Fine Mold's uh, current kits. This is the KA14, so that, that that's 48 scale. That's really nice. Uh, that's the other MiG-15 bis. Come down through here. Whoa. As I said, we've had a fairly big restock of uh, ICM, things like that. Uh, there's plenty in stock at the moment. Das work, we're waiting on some new stuff to come from them shortly. Um, what else have we got? We've had restocks of, from Academy. There's been quite a bit of Academy come in. Waiting on new stuff from um, Amusi. That shouldn't be that far away, so that's quite good. Panda, all those sort of things. Uh, we're looking at... Uh, there's a mini art, big mini art shipment due shortly, so you'll be able to uh, restock. This is all the fine moulds. As you can see, we've we basically tried to get everything that currently fine moulds is currently doing. So there's probably not much that we're missing. So um, if you want to get into the sort of Japanese side, you may be missing a few of the kits or chasing up certain vehicles or whatever. That's a good little range. There's a bit more there. Um, we've had a lot of restock of in the 72nd scale figures of Strelitz, Mars. Um, who else have we had? Orion, Redbox, all those sort of guys. We've got a big restock of hat coming soon. That'll be here in the next couple of weeks. So uh, that's actually going to be quite a big shipment um, for various reasons. Um, UM, these have all just come in recently. These are all new. I think I showed you some of them a while back. IMAX is back. So if you're looking for American Civil War type stuff, there's a lot of that. Uh, IBG, of course. Airfix had restocks of them. Had restocks of Ryefield, uh, things like that. I will give you, AFV Club uh, will announce very shortly. There's been a couple of photos up of it already. This is the new M113 Australian Vietnam era one. This is purely Australian. There is nothing else in it. You get four, three or four choices of markings, all Australian related. Um, it's got the right turret on it. So this is the first in the series of M113s. It's due out about mid, mid to late May, we should see it. 
but I guarantee it's going to be huge. So if you want one, I would suggest you contact us, put it pre-order, uh, order it, do whatever you want to do, but get, get one because knowing AFE Club, they've done this properly. So you should be able to um, snap it up pretty quick. So not far off. Uh, continuing on, a um, bit of Ming come in, but we've had, this is the Bronco shipment. We've had a lot of stock in it. So if you've been looking for those particular kits, things like the Archers and the Pheasant tank, uh, pheasant anti-tank guns and uh, M1114s and all those sort of ones, there's been a lot. As you can see by our restock, we've done uh, pretty well and Box Hill's probably got even more because they can fit more in. So that's all just come in. Um, also, what else have we had? What else have we had? Oh, a bit, of more, bit more ICM has just come back in. Uh, the Tiger Moth. This has to be oh, the, one of the kits of the year. That is so, so nice. So, so if you haven't picked up one yet, uh, as Molly would say, do yourself a favor and get one. This is just a, just a lovely kit. Uh, way light years ahead of the um, old Matchbox kit, but very, very nice. Also from Bronco, 35th scale, um, a Piper Cub. Uh, they've just re-deckled uh, it. It's got a new decals, um, whatever. Uh, Ship-wise, there's been a few new ones come in. We've had a bit of a restock of uh, them. From Bronco, you've got the new um, Chinese Navy type DG Large Destroyer. Looks like everybody else's, to be honest. But there you go. Uh, so that's just come in. What else have we got? Uh, Oh, from Bronco, we've got restocks. Oh, if I can get up. Oof. Oof. It's stuck. Restocks of the um, Coastal Sub. This is, this is a really, really popular kit. We get it in as often as we can, but they sell out so fast. So, um, really, really, just a lovely kit. I can't say too much more about it. It's very good. Um, also from Fine Miles, we've got restocks of the eight A Target Type Sydney Bay miniature sub. This is in um, 72nd scale. So uh, they do two of them. There's that one, and then this is the Pearl Harbor one. They are different. There are differences between the two. But um, if you're looking to add that to the series, especially if you're sort of collecting submarines or all that sort of stuff, so they're pretty cool. Um, other than that, we walk back through aircraft here. Had a lot of restock from aircraft for, for the aircraft. Um, a model. Uh, oh, these are new from Mac 2. We've got a couple in. I haven't got the whole series in. They are pretty expensive and they are Mac 2, so you need to know that these aren't the world's best kits, but it's the only way you I think you're ever gonna see a 72nd scale DC-8. So that's Pan American one, 72nd scale, lots of uh, plastic in it, as you can see. Even the clear parts look better than they normally do, but you need modeling skills to put these things together. They're not a shake and bake type kit. You need to be aware that you're gonna to have to work to put it together. So that's the Pan Am one. And then we also got the military one in as well. And this is the EC24. So again, same sort of thing. Lots of plastic. It's a big kit, big airplane. So, yeah. So, uh, if you've got your 707 from Hella and you need a DC-8 to go with it to show the what was going on, then uh, grab one of them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, as I said, we've had restocks. We got there's a ship that's coming from for uh, KP and RS. What else have we had in lately? Um, 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 uh, Dora Wings. Dora Wings are about to receive that. I think that's due in the next few days. That's got the Australian P43 uh, Lancer in it. And 
Yeah, the P43 Lancer is the main one that uh, we're waiting to come in, so that looks quite good. The review of the P43s has been good, so if you're 48 scale modelers and you want to be building Australian subject, pick up this one. It does come with just Australian markings, so that's pretty cool. Uh, AZ Clear Prop, uh, lots from um, uh, A model again. This is fine malt. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of stock of fine malt all come in. So there's, uh, there's quite a bit, bit of Hasegawa, lots of uh, Minicraft, that's been the other big restock. Uh, Airfix we're waiting on, they're not that far off, but I believe the um, Beaufort is going to be difficult for a little longer. So it could be a little while before we get that. 48 scale wise, just lots and lots. Again, there's, uh, there's the restock from Fine Moles. We've essentially got everything Fine Moles does in 48 scale aircraft at the moment, bit of Airfix. Uh, Italeri, Edward, there's been a few new ones in that. Special Hobby, now Special Hobby, 30 second scale Whirlwind is due, I believe it's due for a release at the end of this month or early May. Uh, we should see it by mid to late May. Um, if you've seen the photos or have a look around for them, they, it's going to be something. It looks really, really good. Um, just from the cockpit detail and all the rest of it that we've seen so far, looks really really nice and it's it's actually going to be a series of them so the first one up is the fighter i believe the fighter version and then there'll be later ones of fighter bombers and, and other variants later on down the track it looks good should be here mid to late may so if you again if you're thinking you want one jump online get it ordered drop in and see us put it on order uh it's not limited run but special hobby does tend to only they don't mass produce something they'll only do mid produce type of stuff so you need to if you're going to want one get one type of thing it's going to be a huge seller um bronco again uh special hobby all those sort of ones lots of kitty hawk we've had restock of kitty hawk over the last month or so um all those sort of ones and then if we go around the other side Go around the other side. This is the like the fun stuff. This is all our egg plane type things. Snoopy, Red Baron, we've still got plenty of them. Um, I'll just show you, these are the other two deformed kits of figures. That's the Waffen SS soldier. And that's the Japanese soldier. So, uh, look, they're a bit of fun. If you, modeling should be fun as well. But anyway, so to continue on. There's all that egg plane stuff and series of cars. We've had a restock of AMT and a little bit of uh, Ravel. So there's been uh, lots of them coming. Lots of trucks, uh, AMT trucks, things like that. This is the American Sabre liner, Super liner. New new colour scheme on it. It's an older kit, but it's got a new colour scheme on it. So that's cool. Uh, what have we got? Who have we got here? DM800 and Mac. This is one of the older kits, but it's the only way you can get a Mac. And I believe they've got the license, so you do actually get the Mac symbol. A lot of uh, truck kits that are Macs don't even say that. Uh, trailer, 40 foot container trailer. There you go. So there's a bit of stuff there that you can play around with. As I said, more and more cars. We were expecting uh, Tamir shipment in the next couple of weeks, which hopefully will have restocks of a lot of their cars, the Formula One cars, things like that. Uh, more trucks, 57 Chev. This one's the, uh, this one is the 16th scale one. So it's pretty cool. Nice detail. Good size. That's pretty cool there. Uh, a bit of Italeri, Land Rovers. Things like that, classics. And then we get into the motorbikes. So this is some of the Tamiya motorbikes, the Ninjas, things like that. Uh, Hasegawa, Yamaha, 1988. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, some from ICM, 20, uh, 35th scale French car. So if you're looking for the, some of the older ones, now this one is 35th scale. There's a few 35th scale, but they've also done some in 48 scale as well. So this should be... Um, 
What one's this? This one, 24th. Oh, old. Getting too old for this. Uh, also 24th scale. So if you're looking for that early 1900s type cars, there's quite a few of those in 24th scale. Um, this one actually comes with drivers. So that's cool. Um, still some more from Mini Art. This is 35th scale Cabriolet B, German type car. That's in stock at the moment, so that's pretty good. This is, um, this is one of the most popular ones. This is the 35th scale B type London bus. So that's pretty cool. Comes with different markings, so you can set it up whichever way, what's, what uh, group you want to do. They've also done this in the military scheme as well, and I believe there's a fourth one to come out soon. But if you're looking for that London bus, 35th scale, that's pretty cool. Ming, this is the Ming Ninja. This is the pre-coloured edition. So all this is pre-painted. It's just a matter of assemble it, do what you need to do. Looks good. Um, but other than that, guys, there's not much else I can show you today. I hope you enjoyed wandering around the shop and have a look at what we've got. A few more bits and pieces up top here. Oh, it's Larry's German military motorcycle. That hasn't been around for a while. So Honda anniversary. So you never know what you might find in the place when you're wandering around. So it's worth dropping in. Yes, you can go on the internet. We've got all our stock online. But sometimes it's fun to just walk around the shop and find what you didn't know was available. So have a great day. Talk to you soon. Take it easy. Bye.